One thing that I want every NEET PG 25 aspirant to remember is this. Rank 10 in NEET PG 24 was a FMG student. And there were many students from private medical colleges who got into the first 100 ranks. Why am I telling you this? The reason why I'm telling you this is, you know, when we prepare for an entrance examination, it is very difficult for us to dream about things that we have not seen happening in front of us. If you, if you go and talk to a person in a medical college, he or she most likely would, you know, give examples of their seniors that they got this rank and they would talk to those seniors. How did they study? So naturally in medical colleges, we tend to look up to our seniors and whatever our seniors have achieved is usually what we also aim for. I believe that this 10th rank in NEET PG 24 is going to be a game changer for many FMG students. FMG students would now be able to dream. They would now be able to tell themselves that, look, if one of us could do that, we can also do it. Because usually it's not the question of capability. Usually it's the, it's the question of, you know, being able to visualize yourself doing it. If you can't visualize yourself getting into top 100, you would never get into top 100. And same applies to the private medical college students and also to students from the so-called peripheral government medical colleges. These students spend many years of their lives having self-doubts that am I as good as a student who is studying in a government medical college in Delhi or Bombay, the big government medical colleges. But now we have so many examples. People who went to smaller medical colleges ending up with great ranks in the exams like NEET PG and INICT. So students, it is very clear that which college did you go to is not going to determine which college you would go to in your PG. That is one lesson that you have to keep in your mind. And secondly, also remember that how you perform during your MBBS days is also not going to significantly impact what result do you get in the PG entrance examination. Why? When we are doing MBBS, when we are in the first, second, third, final prof, majority of us have only one aim to pass the exam. Most of us are not driven to, you know, get into top 10 or top 20. Most of us do not care about it. And that's okay. That is majority of us. But the same student who did not care much about the marks in the prof exams, when the same student starts preparing for the entrance exam, now he cares a lot about the rank. And that is why you see all these students who were very average in the MBBS days doing great, getting stupendous results in the entrance examination. So if you were a student, if you're an average student in your uh, prof examination does not mean that you cannot get great ranks in the PG entrance examination. It's a different game altogether. So let's not let the baggage of MBBS exams or MBBS exam results bog us down. It does not matter whether you got with, whether you just passed exams during MBBS days or whether you went to a smaller medical college. Now, when you're preparing for the PG medical entrance examination, the game is open for everybody. And if you work hard, if you can clock significant number of hours, if you remain consistent, if you follow the basic things covering the PYQ, strong hold on PYTs, doing GTs, doing MCQs, studying consistently, completing the syllabus in time, revising it at least two times, not spending too much time on a single subject, not getting lost in the vast queue banks. These are the basics. If you can take care of these things, there is no reason why you can't get a great rank. Good ranks are no longer the monopoly of the students from bigger or more famous medical colleges with the technology, with the mushrooming of all these apps, with the availability of all the good content, anybody who works hard would get a great rank. So start studying hard, start burning midnight oil, start doing things as far as the study hours are concerned that you never did in the past. I, I like saying these two things whenever I talk to students. The first is during the entrance examination period, study so hard that you surprise even yourself. You know, you should get this thought that I never knew I could clock 12 hours a day and here I'm doing it. Study so hard. And second thing, if you can take, take your preparation to the last day, half the battle is won. It appears that 2 lakh students are appearing for NEET PG for a couple of thousands of seats, but those numbers are not really true because out of those 2, 2 lakh students, hardly 10 or 20 percent of students study properly. So actually it's 30,000 students fighting for 5,000 seats or 8,000 seats. And if you can continue to study till the last day, you automatically get into, into that at least 30,000 students. So best wishes, keep working hard and may God bless you all.